addition to the gunfire and indiscriminate attacks, the threat of chemical war looms over the city, leaving the locals, the innocent victims in this bloody infighting, to wonder what has happened to the world they once knew. This is Frank Bonneville, live from Ecuador. I think we're so much better off here in New York than Ecuador. We've got wine, snacks, not being shot at. You're a journalist at a local radio station. Thought you'd be something big in entertainment by now. I'm chief sound engineer. Ugh. You do make a good thing. You need to grow a pair of breasts. Balls! Oh, sorry. It's because you said pair. Because I say pair of breasts, but I don't say pair of balls. I just say balls. <laughs> to go to Ecuador. We got as far as an apartment in New York across the road from the radio station. Live from Ecuador, Frank Bonneville has an exclusive. The desert sand has brought the city to a standstill. The sky has changed color. The sun has all but disappeared. I think we need more information because I'm pretty sure sand isn't a big problem in, in Ecuador. What I'm hearing from my sources is that the two correspondents have gone missing. They're in serious danger. Everyone's looking for us, which means we have to go to Ecuador for real. Why do we have to go to Ecuador? It's that or we go to jail. I'm a wounded man. Are they bulletproof vests? Yeah, they are. Why is they... Have you got bulletproof pants? Otherwise, what's the point? Let's go. Uh, we're, going. we're not going. We're going. We're not going. I'd like to appeal to the generosity of the American public. If each of you just give a dollar for our heroes, what are you the doing? US government won't send I'm sending her a dollar. What for? For the heroes. Great idea. Yeah.